Welcome back, welcome back to the next episode of my career mode. As you can see right there, we are 10 and 1. Um, pretty good matches, man. You know, that loss we had to Usman still haunting me a little bit, but so far we've defeated Gilbert Burns. And um, next matchup is against Vicente Luque, which I think is also going to be uh, it's going to be a very good, uh, very good match. Let me take a look at this contract bonus one more time. Uh, this unstoppable says right there, complete two stoppages. Try to make sure that we do that. I do not want to fail any more uh, challenges, but I mean, this is pretty much where we're at. F uh, do a fight against Vicente Luque. Hopefully we get the win. My fighter is actually uh, growing pretty well. Take a look at my stats right there. We are currently four and a half stars. So... Um, you know, even though my grappling is pretty bummy, everything else is progressing at a pretty decent rate. So let's go right ahead. Let's go back to training. I don't have any evolution points whatsoever left. I barely have any money. So like inviting a fighter is let, let's just, let's just go train. Okay. Let's go train. We're currently ranked number 11. My hope is that at the end, at the end of this episode, we're going to be either in the, like, I would love to get to top five by the end of this episode. If I can defeat Vicente Luque, who's currently ranked number seven, maybe they throw me in there with Kobe Covington, maybe Rafael Dos Anjos. If I can beat him as well, you know, defeat two solid top 10 opponents, get me into the top five. That'd be the goal. Let's see if we can get it done. So let's go train. I'll be right back once the fight starts. All right, so it's time to fight Vicente Luque, and I wanted to just take a look at uh, take a look at Vicente Luque's uh, stats right here a little bit. We did some, we watched some tape. We uh, opened up some of his stats. So right there, it says overall he's five. I mean, he's four and a half. <laughs> I mean, so it's like that. That's almost a five star fighter right there. Um, his fighter style is kickboxer, so he's a kickboxer. We're gonna be watching out for that. And then top moves um, on orthodox chokes, five stars, leg kick, four stars, calf kick, four stars, boxing combinations, four stars, hook, four stars. So we're going to be looking, watching out for the uh, leg kicks. Man's going to be trying to kick my legs the whole entire time. So watch out for that. And then he's going to be looking to box me up as well and specifically the hook. So I'm going to be very careful um, throwing left hooks against the AI because the AI does a very good job at um, countering with the with the block counter. Throw a left hook, you block it in the follow up, and if if he's got uh, four stars in his hook and he loves to throw it, that's probably something he's gonna try to catch me with. So leg kicks, calf kicks, boxing combos, hooks, a few key things to watch out for as we uh, go into this fight against Vicente Luque, but. Um, as you can see, my fighter currently three and a half stars. I think I'm ready. You know, I think I can. I think I can do this. I just have to just be very careful. Uh, play this one smart. Look for my high percentage strikes, and uh, try to hurt him. Try to hurt him and get him out of there. That's the goal. That is the goal. And of, of course, I do have to try to get a finish because it's part of the deal on my contract. If I can get two finishes, we get a bonus. I definitely want that goddamn Coming bonus. Next, so. Division there you go, Vicente Luque versus Marshall Mine. Let's see. All right, well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with the beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the Turning course of this his off. career. Turning my camera off because I want you to, to get a good thumbnail, you know? <laughs> To land all these beautiful diverse kicks. Don't worry. Back kick, jumping high kick, so many things. Camera is coming back on very soon. Tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. Well, pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on the field. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for 
the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right Brown hand, Bell and BJJ. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That he has in his arsenal. Chain of iron. Okay. You make one mistake. We're definitely going to test that chin. That's for sure. Make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yep. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago. But he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business. And that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll he's tall, too, man. Well, he's two inches taller than me, so shouldn't really be worried too worried about that. relatively close in age, just a year apart. With similar height and some differences in reach. Now for the official All right, baby. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is I think we are ready to get this thing ready to get it going. Let's go. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's do it, Vicente. Let's see what we can do. Uh, hold on. Uno momento. Let's just make sure. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Just wanted to make sure that I'm actually recording this thing. We are. Let's go. knockout for him the last time out and now he is getting a shot against a truly elite fighter in this division all right let's watch is, out for the leg kicks when the challenges get stiffer will his game raise up to that next level throughout his career when the challenges have gotten tougher he has raised his game that is exactly the goal in front of him send him back right, he's a kickboxer so we're gonna we play this one a bit one smarter but we checked it. it. We'll see if he can get that jab going. Tonight. He has got to fight tall. He's got to stay at range, use his length to give his opponent problems, trying to bring the fight into a closer distance. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Kickboxer, my ass. Okay. Well, that left hand has been <sighs> times, not on that attempt. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Well, he caught the kick there and then counters with the takedown. So a lot of fighters, when they catch that kick, would move immediately into the takedown and it worked out for him. There. It worked out great. Oh, come on, man. Right Here comes the AI with this crazy, crazy ESP shit they do. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the oh, Bleeding from his cheek now. That can't feel good. Back to his patented kicks here, but just... I elevated. know, my patented kicks. Oh, there's a takedown attempt. Unable to get the fight to the ground. Nice job by the... Dude, I try to slip that shit. Now, he is going to have to mix it up to get the first shot. Will not work. You gotta go one, two, three at a time to try to overwhelm him. To give him too much to process. To try to get the fight to the ground. Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening in front of him. Later, you'll see him start to throw counters after blocking shots. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. And he caught the kick. Oh, he oh there it is. Dumps. Oh, we're kickboxing now. We're kickboxing now. Okay, nice, nice, nice switch. Nice switch. Relax, relax. Ooh, blocks the shot. Just missed with the left there. Okay, well, well. Nice shot. So unable to connect on the uppercut. Oh, that right hand is wow. Okay. Okay. And the takedown attempt. But he does not land it. Here are the calf kicks. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Nice kick. Trying to establish that jab once again. Such a fast <sighs> leg kick. 
It almost looked like he went limp there for a second. What? Dude, my leg is rocked. Nice. Oh, he told you off the top he had the reach advantage, and you saw it right there with that punch. Well, he misses with the left. I can't punch. let this man fucking hurt both of my legs. That'd be fucking disaster. Nice one two there. Defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if Leg you kick coming. Most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Look at the <sighs> action that comes from him throwing that kick. I should have followed that. I should have followed up on that kick. I should have thrown it. No! Oh my god. Wow, he keeps slipping everything, bro. This is a difficult fight. Wow, man. This is this is straight up Matrix Ultra AI right here, bro. That's literally what this is. He's about to hurt my lead leg as well. Eventually, you know he's going to turn this defense into offense, but he's certainly doing a nice job on the defensive end. <sighs> they talk about the feeling out process. He's getting his opponent's timing. Now he's blocking everything. Okay, okay, you asshole. Caught that kick there. Hands higher, hands higher. And just misses with that big right hand. The take down there. How good is his Come on. Great one. No. He blocked the punch. Damaging punch there. Well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, <laughs> if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right trying to get him the, the jab, to throw out of the position. Hook behind the right hand, jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. I forgot about the chin, brown eye chin. Your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. Really good job the one thing he's doing a very good job, really good job of is moving out the way on time. Man, that cut is just getting worse by the minute. Rated R tonight. Big kick. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Good punch land. Keep running. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Let's go. You can do this. Keep going forward. Try to establish that. Look at the movement. The subtle movement. Oh. Striking display by a muscle. I guess I guess so stopping Vicente is gonna be a fucking bitch. Digging kick. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter round. Oh, he is and he is so frustrating, bro. Nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. Punch no good. Come on, buddy. Keep your hands up. Let's go. Able to check. Oh, he is frustrating, bro. Oh, man. His leg kicks are outstanding. Whoa! He needs to start looking 
Relax, relax. I'm, I know I'm trying. Oh, he, he's working my legs again. Fuck. I'm not making mistakes. Because his leg is so beat up. It's red. It's all beat up. He's limping. He's turning away. There are so many things that he is doing wrong now. No. The leg damage he is taking. Missed with that attempt. Well, DC headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hand. Son of a he's bitch. Doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A Son lot of, of time, those shots to the head will knock you out. Vicente. Sure oh, the running. Nice Get out of there. Get out of there. Oh, Fuck. Get out of there. Get out of there. Get out of there. The AI does a very good job of cutting off the cage, bro. So much better than a lot of players. I'm telling you. Oh, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Oh, I was so close. He like the output here down the stretch. And that's the end of round number two. Ah, <sighs> so right, close, man. Minutes, and he the blocks the he blocks the strikes the just at the at the last the moment, the just at the last moment. The adjustments are going to be the key, John. When you're doing everything you're trained to do, and it stays this close, you gotta really switch it up. Quick corner was able to relay that message to their fighter better in between rounds. Lands a knee there. Nice deception there to get that knee to the target. Really good knee. Nice job. What? Man, fuck off, fuck off with that, bro. Fuck off with that. So annoying. Only the AI would do dumb shit like that, bro. Oh my god. I'm not hurt. I was I was very close to getting hurt. Great punch landing with so much power. Alright, so lands another punch there, and he smells blood in the water going right back at that cup. Absolutely the point. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. Please! No! Son of a bitch! Henry, relax. Patience, patience here. Get up. Of course my leg is rocked. Of course he blocked it. Get up, Vicente. No, back up, back up. No, 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 get up. It won't take much. Man. The fucking relief, man. The fucking relief. That was that was not easy, bro. That was not easy. Slept him with the left hook. Man. Man. That was that was oh my gosh, dude. It's getting tougher, man. It's getting tougher. That's number seven that we just slept. Just slept number seven. Guys, I almost made the same mistake right now, man. I almost made the same mistake. I genuinely almost made the same mistake. 
You know the mistake I'm talking about? The mistake of rushing, rushing it on the ground. It's so crazy, man. The moment, like, if I'm, I'm doing so well on the ground, I end up even on top of him, and all I want to do is posture up and get up. And he fucking, he denies it. Imagine if he would have gone for a Kimura from, from that position. Thank God he went for a guillotine, bro. Imagine if he would have gone for a Kimura. That, I mean, I would, it would have been, it would, it would have been over. It would have been over. Let me take a look at the, the, the stats a little bit here. It would have been over. What? There's, you guys are not going to let me see the stats, whatever. But yeah, it's... I, ah, man, I almost, almost butchered that one. I need to remember, bro. I need to try to remember... When he, when he drops you or when you get on top or you end up on the ground and you don't want to be on the ground, just stay patient, man. Stay patient. Get back up to your feet and take it from there. I cannot, I can't make that mistake if I run into, say, Rafael dos Anjos, for example, you know? The fans were cheering the whole way when Marshall Mine fought Vicente Luque. They even got louder, something, 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 something. Oh my gosh, man. I am so glad that one ended the way that it did. We got him out of there. Now I'm very nervous to see who I'm fighting next because I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know who this one is. Oh, damn. <laughs> Stipe got submitted. <laughs> Stipe got submitted. Wait, who? I guess I got a, got a message. ESPN MMA. I'm sorry, what? Ah! Did, what, wait, what message did I miss? Dude, that's not what I wanted to do. Let's go back. Go back, go back, go back. Go back, go back. Yeah. Holy low times, bro. Come on. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> ah, it's so frustrating. It's telling me that I... It's telling me that I have a message. I'm trying to figure out what message that is. Like, whose message did I... Oh! Oh, it's Leon Edwards. Oh, it's Leon Edwards. Hold on a sec. Leon says, that knockout from Marshall Mine was something to see. No way that would happen to me, though. <laughs> Honestly, man, the way I would respond to this, like, if I was an actual fighter, um, like, I wouldn't say that. You're right, it wouldn't happen to you. I'd hit you high. I wouldn't say that. Like, I'm not, I'm not really the type. And like, the truth is, it it's not because it's not because I'm you know trash talking's beneath me or anything like that. No, it's just a lack of confidence. You know what I mean? Like, if I got to a point where I was as good as say John Jones or in the world of grappling, as good as someone like Gordon Ryan, trust me, I would be the guy that tells you, um, there is absolutely nothing you could possibly do to even come close to beating me. Like, if I had the confidence, if I if I I'll put it this way. If I knew for a fact that I had the skills to back my trash talking, I would absolutely talk all the shit in the world. Um, the only reason, like, I'm I'm the type of person that will talk shit if I know I have the skills to back it up. That's, that's, that, that, that's what I'm trying to say. If I didn't feel like I have the skills or if I feel like there's a possibility that my opponent could get me, I, I played, I, I, I'd, I'd play it a bit safer. You know, I'd keep my mouth shut. I'd be nice. I'd be like, eh, you know... I'd say shit like that. Thanks. I aim to entertain as always. You know what I mean? And that's why really confident men and really confident fighters, that's why they fascinate me so much because I understand where their confidence comes from. I know it comes from a world of training, a lot of hard work, a lot of blood, sweat, and tears, long nights, um, injuries, mental work. They, they, these guys did, they went above and beyond to do things that their opponents refused to do. Someone like Gordon Ryan, for example, who's so fucking confident that he can literally call, I mean, the, 
the man, he called his mom before ADCC and he was like, mom, I already won. It's like, and you think it's a joke. No, like if he says everyone sucks, he thinks they all completely suck. He thinks every single match is going to be easy. And it was, he literally went out there and did exactly what he said he was going to do. And this is at, this is the Olympics of jujitsu. So I know I just went on a huge tangent, but like looking at stuff like this, I like to examine my own self. It's like, why wouldn't I taunt Leon Edwards, even though he just taunted me? Like, why wouldn't I? I think it's the fear that I'm going to have egg on my face if I end up taunting him. If I end up saying, yo, uh, I'm going to whoop your ass or I, I, you know, I'd, hit, I'd hit you half as hard and you'd go down and then I go out there and I don't perform and I don't do it. The possibility of, of the shame that comes with that. I don't have the, you know, so, um, so right now I don't have, I'm not confident enough that I'm going to beat Leon Edwards. So I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to keep things lighthearted, you know, I'll keep things friendly. When I get to a point in my career, at least when my fighter gets to like, you know, like five stars or maybe four and a half stars, then you're going to see a different side of me. You'll for sure see a different side of me. All right. Uh, let's see. Fight offer. It's probably going to be Leon. Oh. Santiago Ponzinibbio ranked number five. This is exactly what I was hoping for, baby. I was hoping, really hoping that by the time this uh this particular episode is over, that I'd be ranked number five. So let's go right ahead and fight Santiago Ponzinibbio. Let's get it. Let's get it. Oh, Masvidal defended the belt against those Sanjos. Oh shit. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Defended the belt against Dos Sanjos. I like it. We are currently ranked number eight. Let me take a look at the rankings and see who's number two. Robbie Lawler, number two. Look at Usman. We are going to fight Usman again. We're 100% going to fight Usman again. And we're probably going to run into Colby or Dos I mean, we, we, got, we, we got some tough matches ahead, but I'm ready for the challenge. Absolutely. In the meantime, though, let's go train and try to beat up Santiago Ponzinibbio. Okay, so training is done for Santiago Ponzinibbio. I'm gonna show you guys um, what, we found, what we found out about the fighter overall. Four stars, um, currently a three and a half star, so you know, he is better than me. Uh, fighter style, another kickboxer, so this is gonna be fairly similar to the last one. These kickboxers are very difficult to deal with, man. They move very well. They move their head out the way very well. Of course, they're going to be kicking as opposed to just punching. And then when you look at top moves, once again, leg kick, calf kick, straight, body straight, and guillotines. Um, not too worried about the guillotines, but I am worried about those leg kicks. And I'm definitely worried about the cross. So now the straight that they wrote there um, could also mean jabs. Could also mean a regular cross. Could it, it could just mean any punch that goes in a straight um, in a straight direction. So we're gonna be watching out for his jabs, for his straights. We'll be looking. We'll be looking to slip and counter with my own straight. And I need to be careful trying to kick this fighter as well. I almost got myself into a bad situation against Vicente Luque, where I was I was kicking his legs, but then I got hurt kicking his legs. But then he was kicking my own lead leg. That's a bad situation, bro. You get to a point where you hurt your leg kicking your opponent and then they hurt your lead leg. Now you have two bad legs. That's just that's just awful. The worst, a few things are worse than finding yourself in that situation. So we'll be very careful kicking him. If I kick him a few times and he checks the first one, we're going to just stop flat out because the AI gets ridiculously crazy. They get, you know, they get cuckoo. You know, they start slipping everything, checking everything, blocking everything. So, um, let's go. Let's, let's definitely, uh, let's, let's get it done. Training's done. It's time to go into the fight. And, um, I'm confident. I'm confident that I'll be able to beat him. Um, I predicted that I was going to beat him in the second round. So, we'll see if we can, if we can either get it done earlier or, um, not let it get past round number two. 
the last fight is the first time that uh, one of our fights actually got past the second round. So we're not wasting any time, baby. Let's fight. Come on. Ready. You ready to fight? All right, here we go with round one. As many of you know, this has been one of the greater knockout artists on the roster over the last several years. The majority of his recent wins There's a leg kick. come by way of knockout. This is a guy who goes for it really at all costs. Has a lot of confidence in that granite chin, and that allows him to get his power game going. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. There's nice a cross. Landed by this We're faking. Oh, got him. His leg is hurt here. You can even see relax. him a little bit. Relax. He's okay. He's okay. It's just a flash rock. That's all. Okay. Didn't tell me anything about that. I was expecting him to go for a, a cross. There's a there's a calf. Okay, he's checked the first one. We'll stop. We'll stop. Because now the AI is keyed in that I'm trying to throw leg kicks on him. So now he's gonna start checking him. But let's not hurt. Let's not go hurting ourselves. Son of a bitch. One of the better boxing games in this UFC welterweight division. And really another amazing representative of the loaded American top team there in Coconut Creek, Florida. There's an overhand. Oh, and there's a land with the kick, so certainly a good sign for him there. When that's working, you know he's in for a good night. Snuck that one in. You bitch! Of course you catch that! Only the AI will catch that shit. Dude, some of these head kicks from Ponzanibio, they look like they're going to the legs, which is going to be very difficult to deal with, man. Relax. Ah. Uh. Overhands. Jab straight. A leg kick. Oh, big punch land. There's that cross. Woo! Trying to establish that jab once again. There's the jab to the body that they talked about. There's the calf kick. And he checks mine. Forever busy Santiago Ponzinibbio. And that one certainly found the target. Relax. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, he just keeps moving. Block the shot that's incoming. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Whoa! Oh, he's hurt, hurt bad, John. He's got a press. Oh! He didn't like that. Are you hand. serious? That, that, there's that block counter I, I was telling you guys about. Such a crazy fight. Oh. <sighs> So annoying. Oh, straight right. Of course, I get rocked right, with so a block counter. Land that patented jab and keeping his opponent's day. You can know that it's coming, but until you're in there with him, the speed and the power of that jab. He is blasting through my block, man. He's so powerful. He's every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Pinpoint accuracy <sighs> on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. Ooh, head kick. What? What is that combo, bro? What is that combo? He blocks the punch. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, and he connects with the punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch him punch, I just put a smile on my face. Oh, come on, Henry. The head movement. Are you serious? Your fucking evasive properties are not good enough that you couldn't duck that? Are you serious right now? Dude, his... The head kicks, man. They're so confusing. They look like they're going to the body. He's like attacking me like... Just chipping away. 
nice jab there. He told us on Thursday he wanted to break this dude's nose. That is certainly a step in the right direction. Mission accomplished. <laughs> you are battering that nose. Good jab. Oh! Are you serious? Final seconds of round one. Just misses there with the left. Oh! How about those five minutes? Man. The kickboxers are fucking tough to deal with, man. I'm telling you. And they're tough to deal with because they slip and they block and they the defense is uncanny. It's it's completely ass backwards from what you will see from a player. Like there's certain there's certain shots that I know for a fact if you whiff, I'm gonna land. You know? I know I'm going to land. But not against AI, man. Like right there. Well, they made all the right reads here tonight, and there's another one. Beautiful read on the leg strike. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt, man. He's hurt. He's hurt. Back to the feet. Big kick lands. Got the single collar tie. Oh, of course he checks it. Blocks the strike. Powerful leg kick land. Jesus Christ, man. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Nice. Oh, and there's another leg kick for good measure. So doing a really good job with that weapon here. Now he's kicking my legs. Trying to slow your opponent down. Oh. When you can land that many leg kicks. Start to affect the movement. You start to affect the hands. Everything changes when you're blasting someone over and over. No. And, and you start to see the damage, not only in the legs, but in the facial expression. Right Ladies and forward. gentlemen, it is hard to defend these leg kicks. Listen. Straight right, he misses. Just out of range. Ah, right too way. far, too far. Too far. Oh, nice knee to the body. Strong to quite strong there. Nice leg kick. And both guys really throwing with authority. So a much oh, my God. In the second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one. A little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Oh, and he can Check that his one. Look good to so fast. I mean, this guy Check that one as well. Rocked again. Fuck you, boy. Relax. Relax. Back to the feet now. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it. And he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Santiago Ponzinibbio. Why is my fighter moving so slow? Like, there's no way my stamina is low right now. Move. I need to work on my footwork, bro. I got to work on my fighter's footwork. There we go. I got him rocked. Great punch landed with so much power. Real sneak. Ah. Oh, an obvious lift there. His leg hurting for certain. Oh! Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning. That'll do it! He's done! He's done! <sighs> oh, my goodness. What a fight. Very good work. Very good work. To end this fight. Very good work, man. Flush. I'm not even sure the opponent man. wholly saw it coming. And before he could recover, the referee was in to stop Woo. the fight. So a huge knockout victory. That was a good one. Fighter here tonight. That was a good one. Man, it, it, it this is knockout, this, was really a striking clinic. this career mode is not this career mode is not easy, man. It is not easy, bro. It is not easy. I think next time we're gonna spend more time in the WFA, bro, to try to <laughs> try to upgrade my fighter before jumping right into the UFC. Because I'm gonna tell you, bro, dealing with these guys while I'm lower on stats is not an easy thing, bro.
But man, we got him. We got him. Stop to this contest at three minutes, 18 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout. Knockout, baby. Wow. We got him in, in the second round. Beautiful, man. Beautiful. Sometimes with all the hard work that you guys put in when it goes down exactly the way you drew it up. A lot there of people we go. talk about doing certain things. It's harder to deliver. <sighs> One more fight on my contract, I believe. Did exactly that. Congratulations. Let's see. Huh? Okay. Well, whoa, whoa, interesting. Yeah, yeah. He landed quite a few shots. He landed quite a few shots because he was... uh. He landed quite a few because he was he was doing a very good job of landing those like those pity pat like calf kicks which i mean i was warned against so there's no surprise there gain some fans goat process knockouts oh shit we get one more knockout and we are good on knockouts ufc fights 35 ufc fights ufc wins 34 UFC wins, fight of the night bonuses. Looks like we got a few already. Performance bonuses, career earnings, 15.1 mil, bro. What? We are nowhere near. Well, let's keep it going. Some of you was were asking how, you know, when am I gonna stop this career? Um, the last one, I don't think we uh I don't think we played until we got to go. This one, I think we're going to try to play until we got to go. Mostly because you guys are really enjoying it. Like, I didn't expect you guys to, to, to be as into a second career mode as you guys are into it right now. So, you know, when you guys lose interest, I'll lose interest. That's just the way it goes, you know. If you guys keep watching, if you keep demanding more episodes, we'll keep doing it. And uh, when you get tired of watching, we'll do something else. You know me. Wait, someone retired. I, I didn't see it. I didn't see it. Whoa, so few fighters are predicting their own fights. Martial Mind does and delivers. Wow, fight of the night? That might have been fight of the year. Thank you, Dana. Thank you, sir. Really appreciate it. John Anik, the champ better watch out because Martial Mind has some dynamite in his fists and feet. Holy smokes, mind contender KO. Hey, haters, think Martial Mind earned that title shot tonight? Fucking goddamn I did. This is a contender these days, right? You've got... Yo, shut up. Shut up, bitch. All right. Look at that. That is exactly what I wanted to do today, man. I wanted to end this episode ranked number five, and we got it done. I'm so fucking glad, man. We got it done. We got it done. Let's see. Jorge Masvidal is still the champion. Currently ranked number five. Man, we are. It's getting close. It's getting close. It's getting close. I wonder who they're going to offer me next. My guess is probably going to be Dos Anjos or Kobe. That's what I'm thinking. I don't think they're going to offer me Tyron, Nate, or Usman. But wouldn't that be nice? I see. Who is it going to be? Who is it going to be? Who is it going to be? Close my eyes. I don't want... Oh, shit. Who is it? Who is it? <gasps> my man. We get a chance to redeem ourselves. He's ranked number two, bro. Kamaru Usman, the dude that submitted me. We get a chance to redeem ourselves. You guys have to come back. You have to come back to see if I was able to redeem myself. Fuck yeah, I'm going to accept the fight. We got six weeks of training. This is going to be different, Usman. This will be different. I was stomping you, man. I was stomping you the first time, and I made a silly mistake. This time, it's going to be it's gonna be different, man. Let's go, baby. Let's go. So excited. All right. Hope you guys, uh, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, go right ahead and leave a like. It helps out. And uh, I will see you guys in the next episode where we try to redeem ourselves against Kamaru Usman. Have a good one, boys. Peace out.